DC vs Marvel and DC Marvel The Amalgamage Omnibuses are coming. Jack Quaid talks about Season 2 of My Adventures with Superman and Death is coming to the final season of Superman and Lois. Welcome to the Speeding Bullets and your Superman Highlights video bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from February 7th to February 13th, 2024. Hi, I'm Steve Yunus. Before we check out these news stories and more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you receive a notification each time we post a new video. In movie news, a reminder that the Toronto Symphony Orchestra will be performing Superman in concert in Toronto, Canada this weekend. Celebrating the film's 45th anniversary, experience the Man of Steel amplified by the power of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, performing John Williams' triumphant original score, Live to Picture. Superman in concert will take place on Friday, February 16th and Saturday, February 17th at 7.30pm both nights. What can audiences expect at Superman in Concert? Principal Pops conductor Stephen Reinick shares why seeing a film with live orchestra is one of the most exciting things to do in Toronto. Seeing one of our film concerts live with a real orchestra, uh, playing the film score in real time, synchronized to the movie, is an entirely different experience than you know, just watching the movie at home or being in a movie theater where you're supposed to be quiet. I encourage the audience to cheer and applaud and laugh out loud and have a great time. Canadian fans in Toronto will also want to get along to the Review Cinema for a 4K Ultra HD screening of Superman the Movie next month. The screening is part of the March Break Superhero Movies program. The 4K screening of Superman the Movie will take place at 1pm on Sunday, March 10th. Visit our website for more info. In TV news, in an interview with Mama's Geeky on the red carpet at the recent Saturn Awards, Elizabeth Tullock, who plays Lois Lane on Superman and Lois, revealed that fans should expect some epic deaths in the TV show's fourth and final season. There are deaths involved. Multiple? Yes, it's very epic. Um, we're going out with a bang, and I and um, yeah, like they're actually very, very high stakes. No premiere date for season four has been announced as yet. We'll keep you posted. SCAD TV Fest 2024 took place in Atlanta, Georgia on Wednesday, February 7th where special screenings of two Season 2 episodes of My Adventures with Superman took place, followed by a Q&A panel with actors Jack Quaid, Alice Lee, Ishmael Sahid, co-showrunner and co-executive producer Jake White, and art director Jane Back. In an interview with People magazine at the event, Jack Quaid spoke about the joys of voicing the iconic character in animated form and how even though he's voiced Superman for two seasons of My Adventures with Superman, he still finds it odd. He said it's been very weird to play Superman because saying the words I am Superman is a really weird thing to say. It's impossible to say it without it seeming like a weird flex. But the fact that I got to play this character is just an honour. You can read more of that interview at our website and season two of My Adventures with Superman will premiere on Adult Swim sometime in 2024. No official release date has been announced as yet. On the comic book side of things, the vast and varied history of DC vs Marvel returns to print for the first time in decades with two massive volumes collecting the universe-bending comic book crossover between the greatest characters in pop culture. These fantastic stories, originally co-presented by the two powerhouse comic book publishers, have been highly sought after and hard to find for most readers, but they're making their return in DC vs Marvel Omnibus and DC Marvel The Amalgamage Omnibus, both publishing on August 6th. Check out the full press release at our website. Superman comic books available this week from February 13th include Action Comics 1062, which comes in up to five different variant covers, and Sinister Sons number one, which also comes in up to five different variant covers. Our reviewers have already submitted their reviews of these two new comic books with JP Rocha reviewing Sinister Sons number one, saying Sinister Sons is a good point jump on without reading anything else. Rolling out of the pages of Green Lantern and Neil Before Zod, this issue is largely set up, and he gave this first issue a 3 out of 5 rating. While Action Comics 1062 was reviewed by Mark Lax, who gave it a 3 out of 5, saying the story is entertaining and there may be a satisfying conclusion, but it just seems out of step for the Man of Steel. And you can read both these reviews in full at our website and purchase these new comic books through our website as well. You'll find the links in the show notes below this video. Step out in style with these cool Superman neckties and bow ties. Get this DC Comics Superman grey plaid men's dress tie for $64. And how about this cufflink sink Superman green silk bow tie, yours for just 
These and other Superman neckties and bow ties are available through the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com slash shop. Before we get into the rest of this week's news, if you're finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, as always, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then you can become an official member of our YouTube channel with different levels of perks. All you have to do is click the Join button below, or you can become a sponsor through patreon.com slash Superman homepage. So in the rest of this week's news, Sideshow Collectibles has given fans a preview look at their new Superman Premium Format figure. The last son of Krypton is taking off to save the day once more. Sideshow presents the Superman Premium Format figure, part of their DC collection. This fully sculpted figure measures 33 inches tall, 18 inches wide, and 15 inches deep. They'll be available for pre-order soon. We'll keep you posted. Superman fans in North Carolina and Vancouver will want to get along to local conventions taking place next weekend, as a number of Superman-related celebrities will be in attendance. Mad Monster Party in Concord, North Carolina is on from February 16th to February 18th. Smallville stars Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum will be there on Saturday and Sunday, while John Glover and John Schneider will be there for all three days. Superman Return star Kevin Spacey will also be there for all three days. And Fan Expo Vancouver in Canada is on from February 17th to February 19th. Superman and Lois star Michael Cutlitz will be there on Monday only, while comic book creators Tom Grummet and Jay Lee will be there for all three days. Join the Man of Steel in a heartfelt adventure filled with love and excitement in the Superman homepage Valentine's Day activity book. Eight pages of romantic puzzles and a love-filled colouring page available to download from our website now. That's all the news there was for the week February 7th to February 13th. Sorry about the background noise today, construction going on next door, but I hope you've been able to enjoy this video nevertheless. I'm Steve Eunice, I'll see you next week.